Hey guys, Stafford Show back with another video and today we have a case uh, from a company called Humix. Uh, they reached out and asked if I wanted to review this case for them and when they showed me that it was a waterproof case, I immediately said yes because I have been in the market for a while to look for a, a an affordable option. I know there's a lot of other cases out there that can kind of be expensive, uh, but I know Humix, um, they seem like to be a pretty popular brand on Amazon, so I was excited when they reached out. Um, now, this is perfect for me because, you know, in the winter, uh, which is coming around, my family and I, we like to go skiing. And when we ski, I like to take my phone out to kind of record my family, you know, doing what they're doing. And, you know, sometimes we go to indoor water parks in the winter or in the summer we'll go to the beach or we'll go hiking, things like that. So... Having a case like this will really give me peace of mind because I know that the iPhone is 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 waterproof to a certain degree, uh, but it always helps to have that extra bit of protection. Um, so I'm really excited about this case. Now I did unbox it because I didn't want to bumble around on you know while I'm recording this, trying to put this together and explain to you how this works. So I actually opened it up. I kind of went through the instructions and I just wanted to show you really quickly what came in the box. So uh, it was basically, um, you, you open the box, there's some information on the back, uh, you know, in case you're curious. I'll get that out of the frame. And then it was just these two pieces that were kind of wrapped like this. Um, and then there was, you know, this, this warranty card. Uh, it comes with this nice little lanyard for the wrist. Uh, a microfiber cloth um, and then some instructions on how to uh, install the case and some more detailed instructions on how to install and use it so uh, yeah so um, it, they did say that I need to remove all the screen protectors well I only have one obviously and any lens protectors that you have on your phone so I have my iPhone 14, 15 Pro Max right here, and um, I'm going to do follow the instructions the way they told me to do it. So the first thing that they said was to make sure that um, your phone is face flat down this way, bottom first. And this does have a built-in screen protector, which is why they wanted to take it off, because I think the glass screen protector if you have one will kind of make it too thick so it might not seal properly so we'll do that and then we're just going to peel this off the back and then we're just going to snap it in just make sure everything snaps into place it has a good seal and you can hear the snapping so you know that things are locking into place and there we go um, it's installed so we can just peel this off the back and it's got a nice clear uh, I'm, this does feel like um, polycarbonate it's not glass and then it has these lens protectors right there as you can see and then on the front we're gonna peel this off and it's very is wow it's very responsive um it does have a little tackiness to it i think which is good given that if the water and stuff gets on it you know it might be a little slippery so it's nice to have a little tackiness so the response is really good on this no issues with that and then on the bottom you'll see this um these are all um uh, sealed up uh, so here's the thing that they mentioned in the instructions. So the microphone is right here. So when you're on a call, what you're supposed to do is kind of peel this silicone back. I don't know if you can see it right like that. So you're going to peel that back and put it like and stick it right that way so that the microphone is opened up so that you can, you know, make a call without any issues. And then when you're done, this, you just flip it back and that rubber gasket will seal it so that nothing happens. And then right here you have the charging port for the USB-C. Wow, it's really, uh, really tight. And then there you go. And you can see 
it is i don't know if you see how it's glossy right there where the speaker grills are um it is taped up so it is sealed so you don't have to worry about water getting into there um so yeah um i'm gonna just cut right now and then we're gonna just run this through some water and kind of see how, how well it does all right i'll be right back just one more thing before I get to the water test, sorry. Uh, I just wanted to give you an overlook of the phone, of the case. Um, it's got the rails, it's got some grippiness on the rails. Um, let me just close out this. Yeah, and the back, because it's polycarbonate, it is pretty tacky and grippy, so it's not gonna slip out of your hands that well, or that easily. And the buttons, very clicky. Um, and as you can see here, there is like a film. I don't know if you can make that out on camera, but there is a film over the action button. So it is sealed, but you are still able to press it. You just have to, you know, get your finger in there. And it does work with MagSafe. It's just, um, there's no MagSafe ring. So it's not gonna, I'm assuming it's not gonna have the strongest bond. Okay. So it will find the ring. It will find it. Um, as you can see, it's lining up to it, but you know, it's not gonna adhere to it at all. So it will charge, if you have a MagSafe charger, that's kind of, you can lay down flat on the table. Um, but other than that, the grippiness is good. You know, it's not gonna fall off. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's a rugged case. So it's meant to be a little bulky, but this is good enough. I don't think it's too bulky. I think it feels really good in the hands. Um, so yeah, let's get to the water test. I know that's what you guys are excited for. All right, guys, uh, I'm in the bathroom right now in the sink. Um, I don't have like a deep pool or anything to try this out. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't seem like there's any water getting into the case. It does seem completely dry. Um, I wish I could submerge it a little deeper, but I can't. I uh, got nowhere to do that. But yeah, I mean, it's holding a seal really well. And I feel like, I feel confident that I could probably use this at the pool um, or a water park or anything uh, without any issues. All right, that was a water test. Just gonna cut out now and uh, kind of go back to the table for the final thoughts and what. All right, guys, I'm back at the my table and uh, I just, you know, took it out of the water. The water test was successful, so that's good. Um, so just a little bit on the specs. It is for, it is rated at 14 feet of drop protection and it's IP68, so you get about a meter and a half of water in 30 minutes. Um, and I think that's basically what most people are, are gonna need. Um, so, I'm just glad that this is something that I can use confidently. Um, but yeah, so let me just get this dried off a bit so that we can take the phone out and just kind of see what it looks like um, outside of the case. Just, um, so just doing it once over, it doesn't look like there's any water in the case. Um, so the way to take this off, uh, there is a little, I don't know if you guys can see that there's a little crease right there. So if you have a coin or something, you just want to put it in and just kind of turn it and that will kind of lift that up. So let's just take this off and there you go. Um, all right. So any water you see on the phone right now, I guarantee you is from me kind of pulling that. And so, and it kind of splashing onto the phone. So, there you go, the phone is completely dry. Um, there's not a single drop of water on the phone. So, uh, Humix, you did a great job. I'll have everything linked below. It is my affiliate link, so if you do wanna pick this up, which I highly recommend you do, use that link, it will really help the channel out a lot. So Humix, again, I wanna thank you guys for sending this out. This case is amazing. I can't wait to use this when I'm out and about doing some more rugged stuff. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you. Take it easy.